to a busy life with Nika. So tonight is Wednesday and I have very long weeks. So tonight I am going to shoot a video called the Wednesday Wind Down. It I this is a vlog channel. So if you're new to my channel, thank you for coming. I usually vlog vlog on the weekends, but my weeks are very long and I can't vlog at work so i don't get to vlog because i'm not an at-home mom but i am a mom of three so my weeks like i said are very long and wednesday is my hump day so i am going to have a wind down um during this wind down today i am going to talk about um three things i am just going to discuss my week a little bit what i have planned for the weekend i am going to definitely sit me some wine to relax i am going to have this put this glow down mask on my face from victoria's secret i love these things and they're only a dollar right now and I am going to tell you now my second thing I'm going to discuss is thing what Michelle got me for Mother's Day because I didn't get to share it in my last video to so talk about something I've been um seeing a lot on social media that really has something to do with me a little bit so I'll just give you my take on it because it has affected my life and my relationship being that I am a 30 something year old woman one. because yeah it's so much that happens in your life like everybody's life is not perfect um one thing i heard charlamagne and god say on breakfast club this week on um, week was live your truth so nobody can hold it against you and that's definitely what i'm doing like don't hide um anything i mean it's not it doesn't have to be everybody's business what happens in your life and you don't have to go blurting in and screaming out to the rooftops but i mean just be truthful tell the truth then you know live your life and don't worry about what anybody else has to say and for me Keep on moving, take care of your kids, and, and enjoy your life because you only have one. So in the meantime, I'm going to put on this glow down mask. Hopefully, I do not rip it. And before I put on this glow down mask, oh, good thing. This one doesn't feel too cold. I'm going to drink some wine. I need to know why you're looking at me, little boy. Y'all can't see Jacob. He's on the other side of the camera. But, yeah. So... This weekend, actually, I don't have anything planned. Last weekend, I didn't have anything planned because the weekends before that, I was tearing my body up, um, just doing the most. I went to Universal Studios like two week, a week and a half ago, and that was a lot because I was just going, 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 and I was doing a lot at work. Last week was teacher appreciation and, and being like the PTO liaison. I did a whole lot for that and just a lot of running, and we've been finishing up testing at our school so i've been very busy but i am now trying to wind down we're all getting ready for summer and i am so excited y'all because this is like my the first summer in 13 years that i don't have to work so this is so exciting right so anyway oh my god here we go that is so cool that is so cool my kids always take over show so this is a glow down mask. Ooh, baby. Really All right, so I have my mask on, and now I am going to go straight. Oh, I'm gonna try me another glass of wine because they. I'm gonna show you what Michelle got me for. Mommy, where my other minute? Oh, oh, buddy. Oh, my other gifts too. What Michelle got me for Mother's Day, and what my wonderful sister got me for Mother's Day. So here's what she got me. We, we all, she also got me some chocolates from my local chocolate factory, the Hoffman Chocolate Factory. Oh my God, those chocolates were covered with pretzels and they were so yummy. And then she got me some fresh little pink, fresh and clean spray. I am gonna put it in my backpack. She also got me this pack, which is a love in the spell. Um, I love Shimmer Love Spell Fragrance Mist and Shimmer Mist. So I think I'm gonna use this up. Mommy, this so perfume. I can't have too much stuff everywhere. So anyway, I'm not going to make this video long. So then Shell got me some Tic Tacs. It looks like a little care package for mommy. I love it because I yeah, couldn't oh, get the same thing like from my mom. I like those. And one requirement is to get me something that said, Mom, I really wanted like a t-shirt or some kind of trinket or a bracelet with a, some words on it that said, Mom. But I guess they couldn't find anything. Okay, so she got me this. She made me this and it says, Mom. So I guess. They did what I asked them to do. They talk about what I've been looking at and on social media. I, mean, I am a 30 something year old, basically single mom. I'm not married. I have been married. I was married very young. I married like at 23 years old. I was young, 22, 23, like right out of college. As soon as I graduated, got a job, and the next year I was married, right? So, of course, so it didn't work out, right? 
So a lot of my friends, like, I mean, between that time, like, y'all got to know that to get a divorce, get married, getting married costs money. Getting a divorce costs way more money because now you don't spend all your money on a wedding and you're, like, trying to make it and you're a new couple and all this stuff and you got fresh new jobs and then you have all these bills. But now you got to pay a lawyer to get a divorce and you got to pay to, um get all the papers filed or all you got to pay for the divorce you got to pay for all this stuff right so it costs money and it's a process and then if you're the responsible person in the relationship which i'm not saying i was all the responsible person you're usually the person who's getting a lawyer and then maybe your partner is not doing anything right so now you got to wait on them to respond and do all this so it's not like something that just happens overnight well in the meantime i'm gonna take this mask off but in the meantime I don't think it's been 15 minutes, but like, it's going to be annoying. Now. I am like, it costs money to get a divorce, and it's a process, and it's like, okay, you're going through something, and, and, and as soon as you separate, doesn't mean that you're going to get a divorce, because like, one of y'all might be hoping that you're going to get it back together, and the other person might have them up in there, made it up in their mind. I ain't going back. So whatever, however that works out, um, man or woman, whoever, you know, feels like they're not going back, they're like holding up the process or whatever. So... In my situation, it took me a while to get a divorce. But in the meantime, what do you do? So the question on Baller Alert that kind of came up because Jada Smith said that she did start dating Will Smith before he got a divorce is would you date someone before they are legally divorced? I faced that. I started dating before I was legally divorced. I was not divorced. I was dating guys. And I, I, I even happened to date another guy who was not legally divorced. And then he came and showed me his divorce papers and was like all happy. And I was like, oh, why are you telling me that? Like, I don't care. I'm not like, I don't want to marry you now. So I don't even know that was his motives. But like, I don't know, it was a very sensitive topic but i just wasn't divorced yet i didn't know if i wanted to get a divorce and divorcing took a while to happen so i was like i'm not gonna sit up in here and be single and not date anyone and not have relationships just because i'm not with that person i mean i'm not um officially divorced from him so yeah i dated before i was legally divorced and it really didn't bother me i mean here and there i kind of maybe um thought about my marriage but not that much but here's the kicker i wasn't with him we had totally separated his stuff wasn't at my house i wasn't living with him we were not together at all and I was the person who had to be honest with the other person. So if I lied and said that I wasn't with somebody and then I let them on, that would have been my fault. But I didn't do that. So I did tell them, I did date and I wasn't with that person. So I think that that should be like the deal breaker. If you're separated from somebody, you should really be separated from them, not living with them, and then move on and you can date. But you should be honest with the other person because vice versa i after that i got a divorce and then i started dating someone who wasn't legally divorced so me and my little naive self was thinking oh i was the same way that happened to me but i had to go through a little bit because i didn't think deep enough because of my little oh it's okay because you know maybe they're not going back together but you got to be careful ladies and gentlemen and men and women you got to be careful with that other person because you don't know what somebody else is thinking so in between that dating somebody else who was separated went to their house nothing was in their house no woman stuff i might have seen like a bobby pin and these people were like married. I might have seen a bobby pin. You know, I didn't see much. I didn't see anything. Not much. I didn't see anything. Our clothes and nothing was there. Went to their house. I'm like, why would somebody have me in their house or whatever? And they're with that person. So I knew that went with that person. So I got in a deep relationship with them. And goodness, if this man didn't come and tell me one day that he missed his wife. I was like, What? So anyway, a lot more happened from that. But you know what? 
that's the last thing that um you, that's the thing that you got to really think about like you had a choice to date someone else go up in their house i mean and you know and they invite you in their house and you don't see anything from a woman or if you're a man or um from um from another dude then you know they're not with the other person but you got to go in there with your not your you got to go in there with your eyes wide open with your eyes wide open because you just don't really know what that other person is thinking and if you're somebody coming out of a relationship and you don't want to be like single or by yourself and you just want to date somebody or talk to somebody i mean feel free but be honest that's what i think that my message is that in this world in this life we're living as 30 something year olds 20 something year olds 40 something year olds 50 something year olds people humans i think to be a better human in relationships you need to be brutally honest with people give them the choice how do you put this down? And then everything will be good. So that's it. That's my Wednesday wind down. I did Mama, not finish my wine. Go down. My kids are up. They Mommy, are going how to wind do down next. Go down? If you watch, you'll get free money. And go to bed. If you watch, you and get free money. And those are my money. thoughts. Should hey, you or watch, would you date? You can get free money. It's not legally divorced. So. Hope you enjoyed my conversation. Leave me a comment below. Would you date someone who's not legally divorced? So, leave me a comment below and tell me what you think. Our Wednesday Good wind night. down. And I think I am going to... Love you. Good night. Good night, everyone.